Activity using flash drives. One thing we've done is basically given all of our team members uh, flash drives preloaded with high definition trailers and other content on the flash drives to go and show the uh, customers basically a full connectivity and capabilities of their televisions. One thing that's nice about Samsung's in particular is uh, any model 650 and higher allows you to use their USB 2.0. What that does is uh, allows you to plug in via USB any portable media and, and you can access that media and then uh, show it, you know, true time to your customer uh, or, you know, they can demo off obviously uh, photos, videos and music content in home. What I've done is I've got a flash drive hooked into the USB on the side. It automatically will pull up and read the media play. Then you have access to go in and pick your content. So again, we've got preloaded flash drives with uh, several high definition trailer options. And again, just allows uh, the consumer to get that full capability out of the technology that they're purchasing. Again, any model uh, 650 and higher on the Samsungs. So what we have here are a couple ways that we cross merchandise connectivity into our store. On the TV on the left hand side, we are using two of our top five divisional standards to demo connectivity as well as netbooks. What we are doing is having our netbook hooked up to our TV to show how you can stream internet, rather play programs, play video games throughout on your PC. and have the TV act as a monitor. What we have on the middle TV is hooking up an Xbox system or you can hook up a PS3, any gaming system to your TV as well. We also incorporated the sound bar to give you the premium sound and kind of cross merchandise the a home theater system with an Xbox system as well. What we have on the far TV on the right hand side is our Sony camcorder hooked up to our Samsung TV. Basically it's just showing how we can play home videos, give live feed of the camera, or even demo pictures to the rest of the family or to our customers on our Samsung TV. Those are just a couple of ways we cross merchandise connectivity into our store at 212. Hey guys, it's Jake again. I'm actually here to talk to you about the IO gear, uh, the new audio video uh, wireless uh, capabilities for the laptops uh, in this front test drive. Basically what we have here is that we have our, our laptop set up from HP. Uh, and it actually has the, the USB adapter connected to it, which is going to be sending that video signal actually up to this adapter up here in the front, uh, which is actually sending that signal up to the television, as you can see. Uh, from there, obviously, you're, you're seeing the video portion. And then the last little bit is it's sending it that same audio signal actually back here to this device, uh, which is then connected to our home theater surround sound. Um, so not only is that a, a huge benefit to a customer to be able to watch movies on their laptop, uh, that will also be a big benefit to those that like music because now they can stream uh, their music signals from, from the laptop or desktop up to their surround sound. All right, team. So one thing we've uh, already discussed is you know the five divisional standards. One nice thing about uh, the Samsung is it allows you to connect you know the portable media, flash drive, portable hard drive. Another option, if it's not a Samsung television, the WDTV. What this allows you to do is again connect portable media into the USB slot provided and uh, you can continue to, to cross product, cross merchandise that uh, portable hard drive to incorporate the Division 5 standards. So let's go see it in action. All right team, so here's the WDTV in action. Like I said before, uh, the WDTV box basically uh, takes any portable media, uh, flash drive, portable hard drive, any USB interface. What it allows you to do is connect via HDMI or composite video uh, into uh, your television directly to your television. The way we have it hooked up here in the store is I actually have HDMI going out into the receiver and then the receiver is processing information and sending it out to the television. Nice thing about the WDTV is it does allow you to uh, go in and upgrade the firmware so you can access WDTV.com and uh, upgrade the firmware allowing for additional codecs, uh, any other additional information that they need to have available uh, down the road is easily upgradable. Uh, you can also go in if you see the menuing is a little bit different than the Samsung, a little bit easier to get in and access your, your media. You can do an all video search, you can search by date, whatever date you've added the content. You can actually separate the uh, video into subfolders or actually access it by uh, what you've recently watched. So we'll go ahead and go into all video. When I get into all video, what you'll see is again all that preloaded content that we have uh, on our associate flash drives. Uh, once we go through here, again, it is high definition content through the WDTV. So it gives you access to MPEG-4, AVI, DivX files, uh, you know, of, of various formats. Uh, again, is upgradable, so you want to make sure you let your customers know that, the, you know, they want to have the most recent firmware.